Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you, as promised, the speeds of the USB 3.0 port on the Dell 24-19H monitor. So, I'm going to first set it up so you can see that all wires are corrected correctly and uh, no funny business going on in this video. So, first USB 3.0 goes into the USB 3.0 upstream. Okay, you can hear now that the computer has recognized the hub. Next, I'm going to plug just a simple wired mouse to the USB 2.0 port. Okay, mouse recognized. And now, for my keyboard. Okay, keyboard recognized. So, why I'm not plugging I promised to show the speeds of my USB 3.0 external hard drive, but I'm not going to be plugging this into the rare USB 2.0 ports because the last time I did that, Windows gave me a notification that there was a power surge on, on my port. So this device was actually requiring more power than that port can give. It's a very strange situation because I believed that the whole four ports were fully powered and uh, there was no request for power from the laptop, but seems like that's not the case, or I don't know what's the case in, in fact. But I'm not going to do that, and I don't advise you plug high-powered stuff to um, to the back. You can still plug phones to access data in USB 2.0, but it's not going to charge them full speed like the 3.0 port will. So now that everything is connected, I'm going to turn around the monitor again and set up the camera. Okay, so now we are set and I have the monitor and my laptop beside. I'm going to start recording the screen with Camtasia so that I can give you guys a, a clearer look of what is happening on that screen when, when need be. So not just the USB um, test, I'm also actually testing in this video the power consumption of the monitor while doing work. And you can see that the power consumption is 15.3 watts. This is the maximum brightness setting with a standard factory default configuration. As you can see when I show you here. Brightness 100%. And I'm going to show this to you on the screen itself. Okay. So, maximum brightness, maximum power required by the, the screen, 15 watts, 15.3. Very energy efficient. Okay, so now let's test the let's test the mouse since you know I connected to the back and okay I forgot to say you need to also connect the other end of to the USB 3.0 port of your computer in this case I have them here okay so this was what I was worried about. I wanted to know if the I could use a USB 3.0 external hard drive. This is a hard drive, Western Digital Blue hard, uh, drive, 500 gigabytes, inside an LC power enclosure. Now when I plugged this, I'm going to for a second unplug the monitor's hub from the computer and I'm going to plug this. And I wanted to listen to what happens. Can you hear that? Connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. These are the trials and tribulations that we go through with USB 3.0 on Windows 8.1. Now, I've done everything. I've removed the power setting that makes the USB go to sleep. I have looked for drivers, all drivers I could look for installed on, on the computer. Everything I did never gave me any solid connection with the USB um, external hard drive. So the only thing I could do was use a USB 2.0 hub and then I got the usual 30 megabytes per second speed instead of the 100 of the USB 3.0. So now, to be honest, I've tested this already. I'm just making a video for you guys to show you how it, it works. 
it works fantastic. I plug this into the USB 3.0 port and I get rock solid connection, like I'm going to show you now. So once again, USB 3.0 plug from the monitor's hub into the computer, solid recognition of the hub. And now I'm going to plug this in any of the two ports. And as you can hear, connection done. No switch off, switch on, switch off, switch on, disconnect. Like, ha like it happened when I plugged directly into the, the laptop. So, okay. Let me quickly update you guys on the power consumption now. 17.5 watts. 17.5 watts power consumed by the monitor now that my external hard drive is working. Now let's quickly test the speed. And this mouse is, there. there is just no lag. And let me open. So you can hear and you can see that the peripherals connected to the hub are working perfectly with no lag. So now onto the real test. So now let me bring the file, the 2.7 gigabytes uh, file from my computer upstream into the storage, external storage. Okay, so here we go, it starts at 70, 80. Power consumption is now 19.4 watts, 75, 76 megabytes per second. And that is USB 3.0 speed. The connection is perfectly solid. And if you remember just a few minutes ago, I showed you connected to the directly to the computer. By this time, it would have disconnected and connected itself four or five times. And this is obviously very dangerous for the hard drive. So we, we went at around 80 megabytes per second peak of transfer. So now from the hard drive to my desktop, Copy, 96, 95 megabytes per second speed, well within the specifications of USB 3.0. And the power, as you can see, is 19.1 watts. So let's just make a huge massive test. What is this file size? 17 gigabytes. I'm going to copy all this upstream to the drive and now we have a, a much longer period of time it's um it says three minutes to the end and we we are going at around 80 to 90 megabytes per second so as you can see the speed is, is stable by this time i should have had one or two um, disconnects on my usb hub my USB port from the, the laptop, but for some reason, not for some reason, but uh, while using the monitor's hub, everything works fine. And I can now depend on USB 3.0 speeds again. Okay, so there's no need to wait for this to finish. You can see we are just hovering at around 90 megabytes per second. Transfer it. So you can see we are at that 100 megabytes per second speed of USB 3.0 and um, the connection is stable, absolutely no problems with using an external hard drive that I always had problems with. So now let's quickly test the phone charging um, potentials of this USB 3.0 port and I, I have here a very high quality USB cable from Transcend. Trans, trans smart and attached to it I have a voltmeter so we can check exactly how much voltage and amperage the device is consuming. So let me move the camera a bit closer so we can capture that. Okay so here I am now I have three two devices this is a USB it's a Samsung Galaxy S4 mini so very small here is a Lenovo 
tablet. So for much more power consumption. Okay, so now I have my voltmeter and I'm going to plug it to the top. And you can see the symbol on the Galaxy S4 Mini, it's charging. It's telling me now 17, 200 milliamps used, 4.87 volts. So just about 230 milliamps used by this small phone to charge itself. And that is the sound of the phone trying to be recognized through the amp meter, but it's not easy. So let's remove this, put it, plug it into the bottom port of the monitor. And here it looks like we're, we have a bit more power coming in at 0 0.27 amps, 20, 270 milliamps. Voltage is still the same. Let's see how much power we are using. 17 watts, 17.5 watts. So while charging the phone. So now I'm going to unplug the small phone and plug in the tablet just to simulate if you can charge a big device like this. So you can see it's not plugged. Let's see if the And the voltage spikes up immediately to, not the voltage, the amperage goes up to 33, 330 milliamps. So it's just enough to trickle charge your phone. But if there are any differences when I test it some other time, I'm going to put in the comments below in the description if there are any special settings that will unleash more power. Okay, so just an update, I found out that by removing all of the USB 2.2 devices, mouse and keyboard. I was able to get, as you can see, 39, 390 milliamps. So just by, looks like the power is divided whenever things are connected all at once. So to be able to have much more power, you have to disconnect most of the other USB devices. So now you can see my tablet is now charging and we are charging at around 400 milliamps. So that is just a quick update. If I find more information on how to get even more speed, I will update the video description as, as mentioned before. Okay, so that is it. This was the test for USB data transfer and charging. The monitor itself is using just under 18 watts. Let's see now what the monitor is going to use to consume when I play a 4K video on this screen. Okay, so I'm playing a 4K video on the screen. I'm charging the phone still charging my tablet at 0 0.33 amps and looks like the wattage is not changing because it's still at 17.5 watts just under 18 mind you this is max maximum brightness of the monitor so that's it looks like the 20 watt power promise written on the the power saving sticker is it's correct and the monitor is performing well under that 20 watts even with my usb plugs all connected mouse charging keyboard and it's still using just under 18 watts so once again i provide you guys another i hope informative video that is so disorganized but what what can you do? It's better to give to make a video with the information you have and then you know not wait till perfection. So I hope this helps if you had such questions about the monitor and uh, my review is still coming up and I'm going to have to use the monitor for much much longer before I can confidently tell you guys what I feel about it. So far so good it's performing well. Thanks for watching. 
Have a nice day or night.